Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a typing test GUI using Python. So first of all, let me show you the output that how our project will actually look. So this is our starting GUI. Let's start the game straight and simple. If we click on start button, a GUI will pop up and we have to write the uh, word that is written on the top programming. I click on submit and I took 7.945 seconds to write this programming word. Then you click on wanna try again to try another word that is samosa because I like samosa. Then I took 6.339 seconds to write this word wanna try again and this will go on. So this is what we'll be creating in this video. Now there is one logical error or a slight bit of change that you can do in this project that I'm giving you as an assignment. There you can see after clicking this wanna try again button, a new GUI is popping out, which is not that good. There you can see if you are playing this game for like three to four minutes, then th there will be like 10 to 15 GUIs and it will be all messed up. So your project is that whenever the user press this wanna try again button, this word should be changed to a new word and then this entry box should become clear and you can write the word here. Okay, so this is your assignment for this project. I'll show you how to create the basics of the speed testing game and create a foundation. Okay, so let's get to our editor to write our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to import the required library, which is Kinter, Timeit, and Random. These libraries come pre-installed, so you don't need to install them. So let's quickly import them. Okay, so now we have imported all our three libraries. This Kinter will be used to create our GUI. Time it will be used to record the time and random will be used to randomly select the word from a list. Okay, so now our first task is to create that initial GUI, the starting page of our game. So we'll create a TK instance. Make sure that this T is capital and then we'll define the geometry of our GUI, which will be let's say 450 into 200. Okay. So 450 width and 200 height. Now let's create our first element of this GUI, which is a label, which will simply uh, print that. Let's start this game. So this is from window. This is the name of the uh, Kinter instance. And then the text that we want to write. Let's start this game. Okay. Then we want to define that what will be the font. So we are writing Times New Roman. Actually, this should be Times. And the size will be, let's say, 20. Now let's grid or let's place this uh, X1 label into our uh, GUI. Let's say at X, X, at X axis 10 and Y axis 50. Okay. Now let's create our second element, which is our button. Uh, which will redirect to our it should be a button not a button a button which will re redirect to our game so this is also from window and the text which will be written on this uh, button will be only let's write go and the command that this button will trigger is a function that we'll uh, define let's let's call this function as game and then we'll define what will be the width of our GUI, uh, sorry, our button. So let's say 12 and the background color or the color of this GUI, let's say gray. And this should be a string. Okay. So now let's place our B1 button into our GUI. So place. On the X axis 150 and on the Y axis, let's say 100. Okay, so let's save this and first let me 
close the window so window dot main loop okay and let's run this and you guys haven't told yet that how to run the program from this sublime text so quickly tell in the comment section so we are having an error game is not defined because we haven't defined the game function yet so let's define the game function and just leave it so that it won't uh, print an error so let's save this and run this program again and there you can see this is our GUI created and this go button is doing nothing because for now our game function is empty okay so now let's do the main part of this project that is to create the game okay so first of all let's create a words list this is the list of the words that will be displayed on our GUI so let's say programming okay so we have created the list now let's select the random index from this words list so so we have created a word variable and then we'll use our random dot randint and this random function will decide a random word from uh, from zero to the length of the words minus one we are writing minus one because if it selects the last word it will go out of index okay so now this is the time we'll start our timer so we'll create a start variable and then we'll call our timer variable which was the notation for default timer function now we'll do the same thing we'll create a gui a gui will be created okay let's change the gui name then we'll create a label uh, for our word and let let me index it let's change the variable name and the text here will be words which is lit which is this list and the index will be word okay so from this words list we are selecting this index stored in this variable word okay so now let's create our second uh, variable let's say x x2 not cx2 actually we have to place this button also at x axis 150 and y axis 10 now you can play along with these values because these values are what i have tested my program with you can create your own dimension of gui and play along with these values so let's create an x3 variable and this will also be a label this will simply display that uh, let's see how fast you can write so we'll simply write the text uh, let's see how fast you can write okay and again the font will be times new roman only so we'll copy paste here And then we'll simply place our x3 uh, label onto the x-axis 10 and y-axis 50. Okay. Now let's add our entry widget. So we'll write entry here. And then capital entry. Uh, just a second. Capital entry. And then we'll write the uh, variable name. Actually it should be windows. And it accepts only one parameter now let's place this uh, entry widget on x-axis 250 actually 280 and y-axis 55 y-axis 55 okay now let's create our two button first one will be to submit and second one will be for trying again so just a second so first button will be for uh, submit and this function will also reinitiate our game uh, function and this will be placed at the x-axis 150 and 100 
also let's copy this and paste this for wanna try again one so we'll write 3 3 and windows this will be uh, wanna try again and this will also reinitiate our this okay actually this will uh, check the result this one uh, will be used to check the result because we are not re initializing the game we are checking whether the word was correct or not okay then here the x axis will be 250 and y axis will will remain 100 now let's close our windows dot main uh, loop and and actually i just missed one part i have to close this window button also uh, sorry this window gui so at the starting only we'll write window dot uh, destroy so that this starting initial uh, gui will be destroyed so let's create our def check result so check result was the variable uh, function name check result so that we can check that whether our user has entered the right word or not now if entry dot get is equal to equal to uh, words of word we are checking that whether the num uh, word or the string entered by the user is similar to the randomly selected word then he or she has entered the right word so what we'll do is we'll end our timer and then we'll simply do is we'll uh, subtract our end to our start so what has happened here is when this gui was created a timer was started and the whole time when the user was writing that word the timer was going on in the background and when the user has entered that word and pressed the submit button and the answer was correct then this timer will stop and we'll then calculate the end minus start which will give the time taken by the user okay and if this isn't right or the user hasn't written uh, the right word we'll simply print wrong answer although we don't need this wrong uh, spelling okay so let's save this and let's run our program so first gui running second gui having an error okay button was destroyed i guess the name of the button is window okay uh, it's window only so let's change the name to windows let's save this and let's run this again okay starting of the game again having an error because again uh, this place was destroyed because because the name of the variable is same so b3 b3 b2 b2 and x3 it should be x3 x2 x2 okay so make sure that the name of the uh, variables are different for each entry okay so t okay <laughs> so it's overlapping we'll fix that so yes we are getting our output and okay so window is destroyed so we need to tackle this problem now what is happening here is that whenever this uh, function is called again for wanna try it's raising an error because the window was already destroyed this starting gui the entry gui was already destroyed so this is raising an error so let's do a simple trick let's create a variable x and then we'll call our global x in this function and what we'll do is if x is equal to equal to zero then we'll execute this command uh, we'll execute this program else actually we don't need any else 
so if this is true we'll uh, destroy and then we'll add x plus 1 so that this if condition is executed only once at the starting only and then this won't be executed and our code will run flawlessly okay so let's save this and run our program again so don't worry i'll explain you each part of this project so just wait for a second so there you can see many words are appearing again and again because this list is very small you can increase the length of the list and you will get a new word or a new sentence every time you click on that uh, wanna try again button so let me explain you this program once again so first of all we have imported our packages kinta was used to create the gui time it was used to record the time taken by the user random was used to randomly select the word okay so first of all we have created this simple gui for the initialization of the game and this button present on this gui will initiate this game function so first of all this window is destroyed for the first time because x variable is zero we have called the global x here and if x is equal to equal to 0 which is true in the first iteration only window will be destroyed and x will be incremented by 1 so that this condition is never executed in the program again then we'll create a words uh, list and then we'll randomly select an index from this words list and then we'll start our timer as soon as our kinta gui is created then this kinta gui is created of the geometry 450 by 200 and then we have created these labels first is the word that the user has to type which is words of word so words is the list name and word is the index of the list okay then we have placed our label and we have two button same first is to submit and second is wanna try again so this submit button will trigger this check result function so if the user has entered the right word then this if condition will be triggered and this timer will be stopped and then we'll calculate the total time taken by the user to write that word else the user has written the wrong spelling and if this wanna try again button is pressed then this game loop will be initialized again now the variable of x has been changed to 1 so this if condition will not run okay so this was it for the explanation part of this project and this was a very short project and these kind of projects help you understand the logic of programming and they are fun too okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye